I actually really do need a couple Chinese uh, volunteers really fast. Do you, do, have you been watching this at all? Uh, probably. I saw those pictures before. Okay, so this caused a big stir, right? Because Zara is this Chinese oh, cosmetics yeah. company. Just saw like all the article online. Oh yeah. And they saying like they only put like ugly Asian Chinese people on there. So, yeah. But like what actually. Makes, okay, go ahead. Actually, for like. Uh, a lot American or European, they think they are beautiful, but like for normal Chinese, uh -huh. not really. So. Uh -huh. I don't know, but I saw articles about this. People think Zara make her like uglier, like ugly on purpose. The on purpose because by not doing what? Like by putting the dots on her face. Oh, but no, they didn't put the dots on her face. They didn't take them off. Oh, okay. She has dots on her face. That's her right here. There they took them off, and here they didn't. And Zara, the, the Spanish company, beauty company, says like, all right, well, whatever, we're just going to do it. And so the criticism, the, this sparked a major controversy, as you're saying, because it's like here, they, by putting her out there, it's like, look, you're showing Asian women as ugly because they don't have perfect skin, right? What's, and what's perfect skin? Clear, like no anything on the face, like... Just like that? Yes. White? Right. But as white as possible? I mean, not too white. Well, would too not white like you're sick. Yeah. But white as possible. Well, here, let me show you a couple of things. That, so this is girls' generation, yeah, right? Yeah, this that's is Korea. Right. That's Korea, yeah. But that looks, is that not sick? No, it's not. They have different tone. Like, they have like a darker skin and white skin. It's different. But that's really white, though, man. How about you? Let me look at your skin. Would people say you're not white enough? I mean, I was white, but like I went to Bahamas for vacation, <laughs> so that's why I get a little bit darker skin. Okay. So, but but in but in a pre, in a world in Chinese culture, would you'd be preferable if you were a little lighter? Yeah, I was, but like for now, I like China. But look, you're not here though. Why is it that when I look at all these bands, like in China mm -hmm. and in Korea, they all have really white skin? Culture stuff. Culture stuff, me the <laughs> preference for whiteness, but is it whiteness? Because what I've been reading a lot is it's actually not whiteness, it's youth. It's like the real, like the complexion of a newborn white child. It's not even a white person. Probably because like Chinese people are hard to get whiter, I think. Are what? It's hard to get like lighter skin, I think. Yeah, that's why we have skin whitening cream. Two years ago, I was in Ethiopia. And I was in the, and I went into a pharmacy. I was in a pharmacy waiting for a friend of mine. And see, can you see what that says? It says white perfect. It's not just skin whitening cream. It's like perfect white. So it's the number one skin product in, in the world. And certainly in Korea and China. So why are people using this? What, what is that about? Skin will look better. They look better. Yeah, because like if you have darker skin, it's like a little bit showing an age a little bit older, I think. I think people think uh, like the person who has brighter skin is prettier. Yeah, okay. Like no matter how their like eyes or nose look like, but as long as they have brighter skin, they just automatically look prettier. You would agree with that? I think so. Wow, that's pretty intense, right? So here, think about that, right? Do you know people that use skin whitening cream? A lot of people in China. A lot of people in China? Yeah. Same with you? Mm -hmm. I think what I'm really struck by is the politics of skin, like how this is such a touchy subject in every culture, and it's not just the U.S. We're all just like, we're dancing around it, and we're not really walking into it.